something interesting I was discussing a little bit with her, um, like something super interesting is that they've built the first social robot in, print in Finland, which was 3D printed. And we're going to start with the video. I'm doing well, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I, my neck is a little bit stiff, but otherwise I'm doing well. You have a really nice dress. Thank you, I'm getting married in two weeks. Wow, who is your partner? Uh, a handsome toaster I met a couple of days ago. Uh-huh, so are you in love? Uh, yes. What does it mean to be in love? It means the way to me. So, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Yeah, we go on again. I'm doing well. Yeah. It's such a pleasure to be here in Bratislava. It was a long trip from Finland, but it was really worth to make. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for the possibility to speak here today about our work in Digital and Helsinki. So, uh, the background for this whole project is actually a big issue dealing with the young people in Finland. I think you know that, uh, for example, media literacy is already part of our school studies in primary school. So that's like one, one goal already there. And uh, also, maybe you know our education system in general or our beautiful nature, but uh, uh, there's also one thing that uh, we are not that proud of and it's uh, youth unemployment rate which is above European average in Finland. And it has been like that quite many years already. And our uh, government gave a youth promise or youth guarantee for young people that uh, after graduation, after three months, they should have a place to study or work. But that really didn't work out the way they thought. And uh, that's one thing why we exist. So we uh, simply, we want to create work for young people. And uh, the way we do it uh, is that we lift their digital skills. And uh, we also, we try to make some innovations because we are funded by the innovation funding. And it, it's from the city of Helsinki and we are also funded by three different departments in the city of Helsinki. So, uh, so we get like a lot of young people applying to us. They have some background in programming or some information uh, technology skills or digital media skills and they apply to us and uh, then uh, we can hire some of them. And when they work for us eight months so uh, their digital skills are lifted and uh, also they learn different types of working skills during the eight months. So already 50 young people worked for us. We started in 2017. So this is the second year of activity for us. And uh, also uh, plus 50 people, they participated in uh, the work project, or it's, uh, you can come and test it for a couple of months if the digital uh, working field is good for you. So they participated, 50 other people also for that in information technology, which we have the beginners group working. Then we, have, uh, we had game developers, we have 33 game developers and they had they were applying as teams so we had 
five different teams and they were developing their own games. We also we uh, have media uh, team breakfast, so hundreds of people participated those. The ones that actually couldn't access our other uh, activities and uh, then there are many uh, university students and uh, polytechnic students taking part of our projects. Uh, it's, a, it's a big team working with young people, so uh, I'm responsible of our digital media team, but we have a project manager and we have team le leaders and we have career planners and youth workers. And when a young person enters to Digital and Helsinki, we take them as individuals. And uh, the first thing what we say is uh, that we appreciate that people can come as they are. So they, they, if they need support, then we can give support for them. And we have youth workers and career planners, so they get really like a loads of help from us. So I'm responsible of uh, uh, the professional uh, learning and uh, the whole, the everything what we do is uh, based on a client client work. So we work with uh, this kind of uh, information technology companies called Futurize and their social responsibility programs. And uh, I'm not sure if you have heard about Reactor or Digia, but those are like big companies in Finland. And uh, we have different kind of cooperations going on all the time. And one, one of them is the video, actually what you saw, it was produced for Futurize for their uh, performance. They had a live performance because they study social robotics and they we were creating or 3D printing a social robot with them uh, and they were testing how it communicates with people. I would say that uh, I'm not afraid of robots at all because uh, <laughs> they are not really there yet. <laughs> maybe if we talk about war robots maybe then but the social robots it's uh, uh, they are actually creating the whole uh, programming still, so needs a lot of work. So what we learn during these uh, processes, during the client work, uh, is uh, also recorded as podcasts, and we do, we have a podcast studio and we do podcasts, and uh, all the learning is shared as a learning material, because we, we participate the kind of projects that give a lot of information that is needed in schools, because there's a gap between uh, young people studying and uh, the kind of professions uh, wanted in a digital field of work. So that's, that's why we share the learning material. And uh, one of the material, it's about the robotics, and the, the first part is about social robotics and ethics, and the second part is uh, about social robotics and emotions, and uh, the second part is about how to program emotions, like how to program, for example, 51% joy or 30% uh, patientness or something like that. So you can find these uh, learning materials and everything what we share from our Facebook or Twitter. So if you go there, you find them. So uh, what are our challenges in a little Indian village called Finland? Because we are five million. <laughs> so we have challenges, we have many challenges. I think we share the challenges because the, we are part of the city city organization so we have a lot of bureaucracy and uh, we know our funding only until the end of 2019 and uh, this kind of work what we do it's like uh, because the whole working life is changing it needs needs some permanence 
just work or so we could develop it better. Uh, well, of course, we have some solutions as well, so we share and talk a lot. We use this uh, method called Brain Trust. It's uh, borrowed from Pixar Studios, Animation Studios, and uh, it means that we always, uh, if we publish something, so we need more than one brains to uh, look it through before publishing. And of course, we try to do persistent work. So uh, this is something uh, said by one um, uh, young person who participated, Digital and Helsinki Media Team. And uh, this is something that really means a lot to me. And this is uh, why it's nice to go to work, because um, we can change lives through improving the, their digital skills. And, uh, and it has a lot of meaning for them, for young people. And actually, 50% of the people participating, they get a place to study or working place. And uh, young people, they actually uh, participate a lot. They give their own tasks or goals in the beginning. And uh, it's all based on their own motivation. And uh, we talk about ownership of learning also. But uh, if you are interested to ask any more questions or come to talk with me afterwards, I'm really happy to talk with anyone and uh, give more information about our project. Thank you very much. Cool. And I have started the microphone.